We're in a Rocky Mount Cook National Park today on the South Island of New Zealand to check out three easy day hikes, or walks as they call them here, that you can explore that provide tremendous vistas of these mountains, glaciers, and glacial lakes. First up, we're going to be checking out the Hooker Valley Walk. This is an easy three hour return trip. It takes you across three swing bridges with views of Mueller Lake, Sefton Mountain in the background, and then eventually takes you to Hooker Lake with Mount Cook in the background, or Araki is the uh, name, the Maori name of that mountain. I think it's Araki, Araki, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but that's the highest mountain in New Zealand beautiful views and it's a light leisurely wide well-maintained walking track good for people of all ages This is the thickness of the ice on the shore, but it has started to melt right there, so it's not that thick. Mm. Ooh. See, it's very thin, which is the opposite of thick. Now, what do you think about the people walking on the lake? Well, I don't know how thick it is down there, but I definitely would not walk on it when it's like this. Up next, we're going to be exploring Kia Point, which is only a 30 minute quick walk to a viewpoint where you can see Mount Sefton, you can see the Mueller Lake, and you can see over to Mount Cook from a bit further away, obviously, than the Hooker Valley. But that's a really easy 30 minute walk, and it's not as popular as some of the other ones because it is so quick, but there's a nice viewing platform there. You get to see the, the glacial moraine wall from the opposite side if you explore Hooker Valley you walk across that and it's really interesting to see the the moraine which is where the the glacial ice has receded and you just see this mass of rocks that have been brought there from the glacier and it, continual rock slides in that area so they they try to uh, fence off at least the area near Kia Point they don't want people going down near those rock slide areas so Kia Point and Hooker Valley tracks both of those walking tracks start from the White Horse Hill campsite so that's the start of the tracks and that's where you can park as well
Last quick walk we're doing today is to Tasman Lake where you can see Tasman Glacier in the background and also a little side cut to the Blue Lakes. However, do not let the name fool you. The Blue Lakes are no longer blue. They used to be, several hundred years ago, fed by glacial snow melt and ice runoff which would trap that glacial silt in the water and give that beautiful blue color which is how they got their names however now in the winter they're iced over and white and in the summertime due to the abundance of algae bloom they're green so unfortunately blue lakes no longer blue but you can see tasman lake behind me the glacial lake is still blue this this little walking track is a little bit more difficult than the the other two we did today there's more steps involved there's more elevation gain but it is pretty short 10 to 20 minutes depending on your fitness level and how often you stop to take pictures but definitely worth the exertion and the slight uphill effort to see Tasman Lake to see that receding glacier back there Tasman Glacier and the beautiful 360 mountain views behind us Plenty of epic, beautiful walks that are not too tough, fun for the whole family here in Oroki, Mount Cook National Park. Infamous.